Do, 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 do. Well, the berry patch is really coming along. Um, it's a it's been a huge job, so many little processes, but uh, it's a bit like eating an elephant, I suppose, you know, it's one bite at a time. I mean, you can go back and watch the history of it if you like, but essentially it was an old enclosed space that had a few, um, you know, polytunnels and other shelters in there. It was a real mess, so it's been cleaned right out, um, everything's smoothed out a little bit more, and we've done a fair bit of upgrading to it. And the aim of this garden is to keep every conceivable animal out so that we can actually grow something and not have it destroyed before it can even do its thing. Um, so let me run you through some of the protective measures we've got in place. So I've got this apron made of marine netting. That was already here, but we've just sort of attached it to the bottom part of the fence and then run it along the ground to stop digging animals like your rabbits. Um, I don't know if quolls eat this sort of stuff. Probably not, but you know anything that digs keep it out. Um, the chicken wire mesh itself uh, should hopefully stop things like your wallabies. Um, the netting over the top, which uh, we've got a, a quite a bit of now, we actually bought that new, that's obviously for birds and hopefully anything that manages to climb over the fence. Um, got parsley next to the door, that's, that's to keep the kids out. And then um, I've already talked about floppy fencing before, but what's happened in the course of sort of putting some tension on this top wire is that the nets sag, or sorry, this, this floppy bit has sagged and it, it's a bit obsolete because any possum, which is really what this is for, would just climb it and just be able to grab the top part and it doesn't work. The idea is it needs to overhang. So, so what I've been doing here is adding these uh, just little, I think this is an old irrigation tube that was broken and left around the farm somewhere. Um, so I'm just cutting into small lengths that'll just support it and I'm adding those, you know, at intervals as we go along and hopefully that'll keep, you know, keep the fence floppy and that overhang there and that should mean that all the animals then are not able to get in. Um, you know, people say things about floppy fencing like it, they don't like the aesthetic of it and this certainly doesn't help but you know, I'm not really too worried about the aesthetic. I mean, the wind doesn't stand a chance. So there's not much of this left to do, just, you know, one side of the, the enclosure here. Uh, and after that, there's only a, a handful of small jobs left. There's, you know, I've got these corners to patch up where the floppy fence doesn't meet. Uh, and on top of the, the door frame as well, I'll need to add something there to stop anything from climbing over. Oh, speaking of the door frame, I, no, no, I just said I wasn't big on aesthetic, but check out my herringbone. And of course, once all that's done, the plants will arrive and go in the ground, hopefully not die. It's, uh, it's been a big experiment, and I think if it fails, having put this much effort into it, that, that might be hard to come back from. But we left some things in here overnight, and they survived without it being 100% secure, so... Woo! Do, 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 do.